Good evening. Our big story tonight, a new chapter in the case of an incapacitated woman who gave birth at Hacienda Healthcare. A doctor who's treated that woman since she was three years old is giving up his medical license. This after his patient was raped and gave birth without anyone knowing she was pregnant at Hacienda Healthcare last year. Team 12's Michael Doudna has reviewed the case against the doctor. And Michael, what have you learned? Well, guys, Dr. Philip Gear will not fight the suspension of his medical license. Instead, he will retire, giving it all up after documents say he kept poor records, failed to do monthly exams, and missed that his longtime patient was pregnant. Oh, the baby's turning blue, baby's turning blue. Shock from Hacienda Healthcare in late December, when an incapacitated woman gave birth and a nurse now charged with her rape. Someone just had a baby, one of our patients just had a baby and we just had no idea she was pregnant. Now, one of the patient's primary doctors, Dr. Philip Gear, giving up his medical license and not fighting allegations that he failed to diagnose the pregnancy. We're not sure. We had no idea this patient was pregnant. Court records say there were at least 83 signs of pregnancy ignored, including missed periods, weight gain, and a hardened mass in her abdomen. She had a baby. She had a baby. Dr. Gear cared for the incapacitated woman since she was three, care which stopped just three months before she would give birth. Now we're learning the medical board reviewed years of his records and say they were, quote, incomplete, inaccurate, and at times unsigned. The last recorded treatment from Dr. Gear would be treating the pregnancy as a cyst. Care of the patient would then go to Dr. Tan Nguyen, who also missed the pregnancy and faced the board but was not disciplined. Now, we could not reach Dr. Gear for this story, but the complaints show that his own medical condition may have stopped him from directly working with some of his patients. Guys, back over to you. Okay, Michael, thanks.